Hi, my name is Jimmy Whitaker. I'm Chief Scientist of AI at Pachyderm, and today we're going to talk about automating PyTorch by using TorchX to make data-centric machine learning workflows. We're first going to talk about why iteration is important for successfully applying machine learning. Then we're going to go on to introduce some tools that have made iteration and production much more reliable in the PyTorch community. And finally, we'll talk about how these components can be used together. So let's get started. First, let's talk about iteration. When it comes to applying machine learning in practice, iteration is the key to success. We see this all the time when we're developing software. We focus on the development of our application to get to an initial release, but once we've reached this milestone, it's just the beginning. We've likely learned a lot in the process of building our application, so we then focus on how to improve it or expand it by adding new features, applying bug fixes, improving performance, and so on. The same is true in machine learning. Once we train a model and put it into production, this is only the beginning. As soon as our model begins to touch real-world data, there will be new requirements to improve the model. The first release is just the first of many. Setting ourselves up for iteration is how we apply machine learning in the real world. But to iterate quickly on machine learning models, we need to be able to track changes, prioritize stability and reproducibility, and support collaboration all at the same time. Furthermore, we have a new life cycle that we need to consider, the data life cycle. In machine learning, data is the new source code, and this means that we need to be versioning, testing, and treating it in a way that's similar to how we develop code for software. Together, the code and data life cycles are both crucial for iteration on machine learning applications, and this is what we aim to solve with our integration. For the code lifecycle side, TorchX proves itself to be quite useful for productionizing PyTorch applications, while Pachyderm is hugely valuable for iterative development within the data lifecycle and connecting with TorchX. So let's take a deeper look at each of these tools. Let's first talk about TorchX. TorchX is an SDK for quickly building and deploying machine learning applications with various technologies. It allows users to create containerized definitions for PyTorch applications, making them reproducible and scalable. This library has a variety of benefits. It provides a framework for how to design your applications and execute it in a variety of uh, environments, such as Docker or Kubernetes and even others, enabling you to iterate quickly and reduce the amount of effort required to productionize your PyTorch applications. Data, however, typically remains one of the untracked variables in machine learning development. Paths to object storage can be unreliable, and versioning of large data sets can be really complex, leading to gaps in reproducibility and agility. And this is where platforms like Pachyderm come in. Pachyderm is a system built specifically to version data and trigger pipelines whenever data changes. In a way, Pachyderm looks like a CI-CD system for data. Whenever the data changes, it kicks off runs for connected pipelines. Built on Kubernetes and object storage, Pachyderm can be used to scalably version any type of data set, no matter the data type, and trigger pipelines whenever a change is detected. Additionally, with everything else in the system being version controlled, such as your pipelines and your data, you can benefit from having a full lineage and history of everything that's happened. For example, showing what changes to an input data set or training code produced in a particular model can be really, really useful when you're iterating quickly to produce machine learning models and upgrade them. When we combine PyTorch and TorchX, we end up with an incredibly powerful platform that allows us to build out automated data-driven workflows that have end-to-end -end lineage and reproducibility. We can do this by simply creating Pachyderm pipelines that have TorchX entry points. Pachyderm, which is built on Kubernetes, uses containers for its pipelines. And this means that we can run any application that can be put into a container, such as native Python, PyTorch, or even Java and Scala, and this also means that we can have a pipe, uh, Pachyderm pipeline schedule TorchX applications to run whenever a pi Pachyderm pipeline is triggered. Practically speaking, this means that we can set up training pipelines in Pachyderm to automatically trigger a TorchX distributed training job whenever there are significant changes to our data set that's versioned in Pachyderm. Any models or other artifacts produced during the training job can then be put back into data repositories in Pachyderm, versioning them and maintaining a full reproducible history of everything that's happened in the system. Together, TorchX and Pachyderm combine to provide a foundational platform for combining the code and data lifecycles. Version data repositories in Pachyderm can track all of the changes to our data. These changes can in turn trigger pipelines that then automate the reproducible workflows that are scheduled with TorchX. Furthermore, it's all built on Kubernetes and object storage, ensuring that it can scale up to any task. 
Building data versioning and reproducibility into the core of our machine learning workflow is foundational to applying machine learning in practice. Without it, we cannot hope to improve collaboration, reliability, or agility. And TorchX and Packet are paired nicely to provide the foundational elements of applied machine learning. Make sure to check out our examples and documentation for more information on how these two work together. Thanks.